Hi guys! So in this video, ang pag-aaralan naman natin ay dimensions of a cube from its volume. So kukunin natin yung dimension ng cube given yung kanyang volume. Let's say for example, uh, meron tayo ditong cube. Ayan, cube. Drawing lang ako ng cube. Kahit <laughs> hindi magaling mag-draw. Ayan. For example, so ito yung cube natin, meron siyang dimension na x, x, x. So alam natin na ang volume, formula natin for the volume is s cube. What if given na yung volume niya na sabi ko nga sa inyo, ang pag-uusapan natin ay dimension ng cube from its volume. So ang volume daw niya ay 512 cubic centimeters. Okay. So, alam natin na uh, in order to get the volume, all we have to do is to multiply all the three dimensions ng cube. So, ang three dimens dimensions niya ay x times x times x which is equal to 512. So, equal din to kay x cube equals 512. So basically, kapag kinuha natin yung cube root, cube root ng both sides, so that's it's also equal to what? x equals to the cube root of 512. So para makuha natin yung cube root ng 512, pwede tayong gumamit ng prime factorization. So lalagay ko dito yung cube root para mas mahaba yung space natin sa prime factorization. Cube root of 512. So, 512 natin is simply equal to 2 times 256. 256 is equal to 2 times 128. 128 is equal to 2 times 64. 64 is equal to 2 times 32. 32 is equal to 2 times 16. 16 is equal to 2 times 8. 8 is equal to 2 times 4. And 4 is equal to 2 times 2. Okay, gaya ng ginawa natin dun sa, in, uh, sa ating uh, previous video on cube root, hahanap lang tayo ngayon ng tatlong number. Since magkakamuka naman yung 2 natin sa prime factorization, mapapansin nyo meron tayong mabubuo na tatlong pairs ng tigta tatlong 2. So, kung i-multiply natin yan, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, another 8, another 8. So, that means, x cube ay x is equal to the cube root of 8 cube. So, x is equal to what? Is equal to 8. So, yung dimension ng ating um, cube ay what? This is equal to 8 centimeters, 8 centimeters, another 8 centimeters. So, kung nahahabaan kayo sa prime factorization, pwede kayong mag-trial and error ng mga numbers. Say, for example, try nyo si 7, o 7 times 7 times 7, 8 times 8 times 8. Basta tatlong number na magkakamuka kung perfect naman yung perfect cube naman yung given natin na value. So, mas madali nyo siyang makukuha or kung wala kayong calculator. So, pag wala kayong calculator, usually, pwede nyo gamitin itong ating tinatawag na um, prime factorization. 